For more on the struggles of opioid addiction, we go to our Patricia Nicholas, who has a first-hand account from a local survivor of opioid addiction. Four people every day, that's, that's horrible. That's a huge problem, and it's so sad, and, and I think that people are becoming numb to this epidemic. Like, oh, yeah, we lost another one. No, that was somebody's child. That was somebody's father. That for Megan Jack Muzi, it was her 27-year-old brother, Matt. He died of a heroin overdose in 2012. Jack Muzi says her brother's death shows addiction can happen to anyone. He dressed in, you know, designer clothes from head to toe. His shoe collection is probably more expensive than my house. You know, I mean, just, he was just perfect. Growing up, Jack Muzi says she was taught drugs were bad. Her father was a police officer. But she says soon after her brother died, she also developed her heroin addiction. I don't know if I wanted to see what it was like, like what was so, like why was he so interested in it, or if I wanted to die too. Jack Muzi says her life went into a downward spiral. She said she hit her addiction well, but no matter what she tried, she just couldn't stop using. Heroin ruled my life. It was my master. Like everything I did was depending on when I had my heroin. After a year and a half of struggling with addiction, she says the turning point came when her daughters were almost taken away from her. I went into treatment that day, the day that, you know, I was told that, you know, we're going to call, you know, DCF if you don't stop. And I said, okay, I'm done. That was it. Jack Moosey says she has been clean for two years and she has started the Missing Matt Foundation in memory of her brother. It aims to erase stigmas and help others struggling with substance abuse. Do I look like a heroin addict? No. Well, what does a heroin addict look like? Well, look in the mirror. That's what it looks like. Because it can happen to anybody. Patricia Nicholas, 